blessings in the name of the Lord Jesus. Welcome to Paraclet TV, making disciples through the power of the Holy Spirit. Our intended uh, learning outcome or uh, lesson objective for this video is to really uh, discuss the taxonomy of affective domain and of course uh, apply or formulate objectives in the affective domain so uh, you are now seeing on this video a pie that presents now the blooms affective domain and uh, in this pie or in this circle we will find that there are five levels under the affective domain we have received then respond value organize and then the highest is internalized the first or the lowest in the taxonomy is receive receive is the ability to learn from others from others means that uh, in the classroom of course primarily that's the teacher and of course secondarily the pupils or the colleagues of the pupils and of course other students then after they have the ability to learn from others they have to respond now respond now is the ability to participate responsibly respectfully and actively as appropriate to the context so whatever is needed in the classroom especially when there is a performance based uh, assessment or activity so therefore the students must of course respond positively by uh, sharing what they have by cooperating with the other members of their group next uh, taxonomy or level we have value value now is the ab ability to associate personal and collective values with contextual experience and express value judgment so if in uh, if a student is in their first uh, days of the school of course they won't value uh, group activities they won't value being a leader but when a, when they are already consuming or utilizing additional days or additional weeks in the school and they will find that there is a need of cooperation there is a need of having groups so they will be able to learn how to associate uh, their values you know, their personal values and of course their family values as they mingle with one another then after that the next in taxonomy is organized it is the ability to structure prioritize and reconcile personal in other value system so the fourth um, taxonomy or level of affective domain is organized it is where now the pupil must learn how to have a system in relating about the, their personal of course and other value system in the school so that they will be able to really uh, improve their uh, emotions improve their feelings and other traits with respect to affective domain and the highest in taxonomy is internalization or or a characterization it is the ability to articulate one's own values and belief system and operate consistently within them so it is the highest a level of affective domain wherein the students even when they are in the house they will of course uh, show what they have learned in the school if they were taught about honesty in the school they will become honest when they are of course in the house and when they of course uh, are already in the workplaces they will of course show honesty we call that as internalized so these are now the five levels of affective domain and uh, these five levels have of course sub levels say for example in the first level which is receiving or receive uh, there are three uh, sub-levels under it. The first one is awareness. There must have an awareness of what he has something to do or what he has something to feel or what he has something to hear. Then, of course, after that, after he has heard or uh, sensed uh, and being aware of that uh, thing, so there must have a willingness to receive 
and after that the third will be the controlled or selected attention and then responding has also three sub levels one acquiescence in responding you're not interested to respond and then the second one is willingness to respond and of course the third one the highest is satisfaction and response next in valuing there are also three sub levels the lowest sub level is acceptance of a value acceptance say for example the value of honesty the value of integrity the value of of uh, being a listener uh, and then after accepting its value the second one is preference for a value meaning when they are engaged of uh, of a circumstance that they have seen a student that is cheating and when the teacher is asking who has cheated now it will be a preference of the student to choose if he's going to be honest or not honest and the last one is commitment so meaning in his entire life even if he is not in the school he is at home or he is in other uh, location especially in the workplace uh, he will be committed to value that kind of values or virtue next number four organization has also its sub levels one conceptualization of a value he must of course understand what is the value he must of course understand what are the bad side of not having that value or the positive uh, benefits if he has this value and of course if after learning it he will have the second the highest sub level of organization which is called organization of a value system he will never organize a value system unless he is uh, unless he is uh, convinced that uh, this value will uh, benefit him as well as others and the last one is characterization and in characterization there are two sub uh, levels we have the lower level which is called generalized set and the highest level a higher level is called characterization now let us look at uh, the different categories or the level of taxonomy affective domain and uh, here we will find the different verbs when you are going to formulate an outcome or intended learning outcome or you are going to make a lesson plan and you're going to formulate the lesson objectives you must be familiarizing yourselves with the different verbs we call this as behavioral verbs because when you are going to formulate uh, instructional objective, the verb must be specific, it must be measurable, attainable, it must be, of course, uh, re re realistic, and of course, time-bounded. We call that as smart. So you have always to remember that in the formulation of intended learning outcome as well as uh, lesson objective, even if it is cognitive or even if it is psychomotor or of course of affective you have to choose the the verbs that are behavioral verbs that when they do it it will be seen and sensed by your senses so looking at the examples here uh, you have attention as the lowest level and then there are verbs opposite it we have asked choose describe follow give hold identify locate name select erect or reply so those are examples of the verbs under response as the second uh, as a higher level compared to attention you have the following verbs answer assist aid comply conform discuss greet help so on and so forth so please read the different verbs, behavioral verbs under value. Okay, read, report, select, share, student, and work. Okay, please read again another one under organization. Okay, in the last one, in generalization, you please read the verbs that you can see on the third column about generalization. 
Okay, so you have to understand and comprehend what is the meaning what are or what is the meaning of each verb so that when you use them in the formulation of objective as well as of intended learning outcome, you will be able to use them appropriately or accurately. So let us go on. Let us see an example of activities and internalization process with respect to affective domain in its level. Say, for example, number one, the lowest level is receive. Example is passively listening to receive information and willing to engage in the game or in the activity. So in receiving, uh, one the, as a start, there is a passive you know, listening, not that active or not that intentional listening. Then when they have sensed that um, the game or the activity uh, will be uh, beneficial to them and they will become interested the next uh, domain will be responding and the example is conforming with the rules and using information provided during the game so they will start to conform with the rules after the rules uh, are understood by them and then of course uh, that's the time that that will be the response of the student. Then the next one is valuing. Example here is giving meaning to the rules so they become more intuitive and easier to follow. When they start to value, they will ask questions and they will clarify what is the meaning of, the, of each rule. And then of course, the next one is organization. Now, there is a combining information in taking action according towards games objective so here they will be of course being active in the explanation or even in the discussion as well as in the actuation of uh, that game in actual and then characterization adapting belief and behavior to apply game learning outcomes in the real world so it uh, if it will really be applied not as a requirement of the school and it will be seen even if he is already outside and in the community he will of course uh, apply and observe the rules that are taught to them it is also called characterization okay so let's have now an example of objectives lesson objectives under affective domain so you have always to remember the opening or the, the, the phrase opening statement in the formulation of intended learning outcome or of the a lesson objective when you are tasked to make a lesson plan. At the end of the lesson or at the end of the session, 100% of the students with 100% level of proficiency will be able tapos colon so in this example there are five behavioral tasks or objectives that are arranged from the lowest taxonomy of affected domain to the highest taxonomy so let us see i will be reading it to you so the first one is under attention so to listen to the introduction of badminton description so an example about pe or about badminton game then the second about response to follow rules in playing badminton after that is valuing to carry out the do's and don'ts of playing badminton then to choose to play badminton fairly is in its organization and its characterization to exemplify playing badminton fairly so not only in physical education but in all specialization you can use these objectives or how to formulate lesson objective or how to of course uh, formulate the intended learning outcomes with respect to the affected domain observing of course the the levels of taxonomy under that so at the end 
you have seen and you have learned that affected domains pertains to the heart, how we feel, and that the, how we uh, how we express you now what we are uh, about our emotions, how we express about our emotions, and there are about fourteen different traits. And uh, the taxonomy of affective domain are attention, response, value, organization, and generalization. So I uh, pray that you are able to formulate objectives under affective domain in different levels of taxonomy. Share, Jesus. Subscribe, share, share. share. Go, go, go.